Hello YouTube, thank you for stopping by my channel. This is Shonda, also known as Hair by Shonda. Today I will be demonstrating this beautiful high volume sew-in install. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video because this will be something that you will not want to miss. So just right away, I just want to show you the amount of hair that I left out. I already started braiding, but I left out a nice amount of leave out from ear to ear so that she can have versatility in her sewing install. So I'm just going to proceed with finishing up this braid and then go right into the swirl part in the back. I like to swirl the back part of the braids because it makes everything flat. A really nice flat sewing that you can pull into a nice sleek ponytail. No lumps, no bumps, right? So now that I'm done braiding, I'm going to apply this really fine netting. I'm going to apply actually two different types of netting. One that has fine holes and one that has larger holes. This is the one with larger holes. I'm going to place the one with larger holes in the back and the one with fine holes on the top right here. So my reason for using the netting with fine holes in the top is because I'm going to be sewing a lot of hair. I think I'm going to sew like a bundle and a half of hair in the top. So I'm just going to finish sewing this down and cut off the excess netting and move on to applying this Moroccan oil to her hair. Now I like to use the Moroccan oil. You can use pretty much any oil, but this Moroccan oil smells so good, guys. I love it. And it's heavy and it hydrates and coats the hair very well. Sew-ins are supposed to grow your hair. Dry hair breaks off. Hydrated hair grows. So I will be installing 26, 26, 24, and 22 inches of hair. All four bundles are going in her hair, guys, so it can be super full. So I'm going to start with the first bundle, double up my tracks, and begin to sew it in. to fold over my tracks I really don't like to cut them too much only if I have to so when I fold it over I don't like to fold both of them together because I do double up my tracks I kind of leave one portion lagging behind so that I can fold it more into the sew-in so it doesn't be lumpy we don't want it to be lumpy so here's my hot tip for the day guys so you know how you get to the end of your sew-in, the thread is short and you have to cut it and tie it into a knot. Well instead of just tying it into a knot, I create a knot at the end of the thread. And then in my new thread that I'm going to put in this needle here, I'm going to put the new thread in, tie a knot at the end of the new thread, and then take the new thread and slip it into the old thread. Did you guys catch that? <laughs> so now I'm tying the knot at the end of the new thread. Okay, here's the old thread. You take the needle, slip it through that hole, and then pull it out. And you take the needle again and slip it in the end of the new thread. So you create a chain link effect. So now your sew-in is completely on one long thread of thread. So you don't really have any slip ups no tracks being loose or anything like that because it's on one long continuous strand of thread so this will prevent any tracks from slipping or you having to tighten her sewing or anything like that I've been using that method for years and it is foolproof it no one calls me with loose tracks like at all <laughs> so now that I'm done, I'm going to apply my tracks vertically all the way till I get to the middle right here. When I get to the middle right here, I'll start applying them horizontally. But 
these, this is where I cut the tracks really short. Like they're gonna be cut really short in little small pieces, but it's worth it for the effect that this hairstyle is gonna have. So as you can see, I'm just sewing it to right there and cutting it off and anchoring it down. And I will proceed to do the same thing all the way till I get to the middle. Well, close to the middle. See, I sewed small tracks on both sides, really so close together, they're like practically on top of each other. That's how you create the seamless look. Okay, so now I'm going to apply it in the middle horizontally. And I'm still doubling up my tracks throughout this entire sewing. I will be sewing down two tracks at a time. So now that I have completed the sew-in, I am just going to show you how close these tracks are together. Okay, you can pull her hair to the side, move it, the wind can blow, and you will not see one track at all. Everything is sewn super close together for volume and fullness. You can see in the top left-hand corner, it's seamless. You don't see any tracks on the side. So now I'm going to proceed to blend her natural hair into the extensions. She has no relaxer. I'm using this Care Care Styling Wax Stick. I love this stuff because, I don't know, it's something in it. It works like magic. I love it. So now that we're done blending, I am going to apply my very own Cast Elite Hair Care Moroccan Texturing Cream. It's a light edge control, so it doesn't make the hair too waxy or too shiny. I love it. Gotta take care of those edges. So now we're done. I'm not gonna style it or curl it or anything. We love it in this natural state. And we're just going to keep it like it is and let it flow. See, she has versatility. She can wear a ponytail on one side, wear it on the other side. Now, if we would have left the entire perimeter out, she would be able to pull this up into a nice, sleek, high ponytail that's undetectable. So now that we're all done, Go ahead, girl, model that hair. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Yes, nice and full. Nice and natural looking. And full of body. Okay guys, thank you for watching my video and make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading every Friday a new hairstyle. Thanks for watching and be blessed.